Howdy, and welcome back to the 200th episode of the Texas Bucket List. Our final stop, the site where Texas' battle for independence came to an end, the Battle of San Jacinto. It was here that General Sam Houston and his men faced off with General Santa Ana and his forces, creating the place we all know and love today, Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. And nothing's bigger than this monument. Nothing's bigger than this battlefield. On the east side of Houston, along the bustling Buffalo Bayou, you'll find the lively ship channel along a little section of Laporte. With a rampant number of refineries in the area, it's sort of shocking to come across one of the most sacred sites in Texas here. But when you see the lone star of the San Jacinto Monument standing tall amongst the smokestacks, you know you've reached one of the most significant spots in the whole state. This was significant. This was a big deal. This is where Texas won its independence. Having people understand how one 18 minutes battle here really did impact the world. Lisa Struthers, David Avila, and Andy Smith took us on a journey of the San Jacinto battleground, where on April 21st, 1836, General Sam Houston and 1,000 Texian soldiers defeated Santa Ana's force of 1,400 and proclaimed Texas as its own nation. Being a Mexican-American, Tejano born here, I kind of thought, you know, back then I'd probably be on the, on the Texian side, you know, helping those, those men at the Alamo or here at San Jacinto. David is the interim director of the museum and has been working here for 22 years. Interesting to hear the stories about people, why people did what they did. Lisa is the library director. It kind of encompasses a lot of Texas right here. And Andy is the site manager. I mean, it's a dream come true. I'm a born and bred right here and uh, it's a dream. A fifth generation Texan, Andy took us around the 1200 acres of the battleground. The historic significance of it is outstanding. During the battle, nine Texian soldiers lost their life, while 630 Mexican soldiers lost theirs. A lopsided win that sealed Texas's independence. So this is the Brigham Monument. This was the uh, first real memorial placed here at San Jacinto. This was put up in 1881 on the grave of Benjamin Rice Brigham, um, but his compatriots that fell at the Battle of San Jacinto were buried nearby. So this was to honor uh, the men who died on the Texan side at the Battle of San Jacinto. So this is the oldest monument in the park. Amazing to think, so those nine soldiers who died on the Battle of April 21st are all right around here. Correct, yes sir, buried right underneath our feet. To honor the significance of the battle on its 100th anniversary, in 1936, a very large obelisk was built in the middle of the battlefield. And yes, it's bigger than the Washington Monument. Everything's bigger in Texas. And nothing's bigger than this monument. Nothing's bigger than this battlefield. The blueprints say it is 570, but a survey done in 1990, I believe, showed that it is uh, 567. So they're off by three feet. They're off by three feet. Inside the museum, you'll find all sorts of artifacts, with General Sam Houston looking over them, and Stephen Seymour Thomas's original painting that stands over 12 feet tall. So right here we have our Sam Houston case. Oh, very neat. And we have a ring that uh, Sam Houston's mother gave to him. When he was a teenager, he joined the army and his mother gave him two gifts. She gave him this ring right here, which is inscribed with the word honor inside. The reason it's inscribed with honor, she said, this should be a creed that you follow for the rest of your life. And he wore that ring until his death. Wow, well, being here at the San Jacinto Memorial and seeing Sam Houston stuff, that's pretty. That kind of yes. gives you chills. Yes, it's an amazing thing. Now, a trip to the San Jacinto Memorial wouldn't be complete without getting a sky-high view of the battlefield. Here we are at the observation deck. Wow, you can see for miles. Yeah, you can. There's downtown Houston. You can make out downtown Houston, the skyline out there. And of course, you can definitely make out the battlefield. They wanted to put the monument in the most visible place possible for anybody going by, and as this is the high spot, this is where the monument is put. The Battle of San Jacinto didn't just gain Texas its independence, it led to Texas becoming a state which helped the U.S. achieve its manifest destiny. This is one of the most significant battles in the history of humans. I mean, you know, people don't realize San Jacinto, how significant a battle it was. It really is a significant place, and, and I think that every Texan 
needs to come here. It needs to be on their bucket list. To have people connect to the past so that they can understand kind of how we got to where we are, either individually or we as a state or we as a nation even. If you're a Texan, you gotta come to San Jacinto. I don't understand why this wouldn't be first on your bucket list. If it wasn't for San Jacinto, there would be no Texas. There's just no two ways about it. We'd be part of Mexico. All the other battlefields are significant, but this is number one. Andy's passion personifies how true Texans feel about this powerful place in Texas lore. The commitment to freedom over tyranny. The commitment to Texas independence. A commitment to the ideology that is Texas. I think a lot of people forget that St. Jacinto Battleground is not just a, a historic place, um, but it's also a grave site um, for these men, for the Mexicans that fell. Um, so it's, it really is sacred ground, uh, much like the Alamo, much like um, Goliads. Those places are where these men fought and died, and, and we owe everything we are as Texans to their sacrifice, for sure. This is the birthplace of Texas, and this is the blood that uh, watered that tree that grew and is now so big and awesome, right? Truly. Really.